today's class we'll discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of partnership so as of now in the previous classes we had a discussion about types of ownerships in those types of ownerships we had an elaborative discussion about sole proprietorship and partnership so in today's class a partnership type of ownership we'll discuss about the advantages and disadvantages so as you know partnership uh, is a business entity it can be carried out by the mutual agreement between the two or more persons in a written document that is known as a partnership deed this has been explained in a previous class and also in types of partners has also been uh, detailed in uh, in the last class coming to today's class we will go through the advantages and the disadvantages okay of partnership so if you look the advantages of partnerships mainly there will be 8 to 10 advantages of partnership type of ownership remember that we are studying a fresh chapter that is known as organization structure and organizational behavior in that chapter we are discussing about the types of ownerships so in the types of ownerships we had five types of ownerships first one is sole proprietorship sole proprietorship has been exclusively discussed in the previous class as you know very well that sole proprietorship has been carried out by a single person and whatever the losses and the profits will be borne by that business carrying person single person that is about sole proprietorship second type of ownership is partnership so in partnerships now we will discuss about the advantages and disadvantages when it comes to advantages we will have the around 8 to 10 major advantages of partnership business that means here we you can come across a question you may put a question that what is the need to go for partnership in spite of having uh, sole proprietorship uh, type of uh, ownership so why because yeah, as you know very well that in uh, sole proprietorship the single man has to carry out the business and uh, if he passes away by some reason then then the automatically business will be closed and if major losses will be incurred in that business then also be, uh, there will be plenty of chances to close the business so 
also in sole proprietorship we studied that a single person cannot expand his business to a greater extent since the resources are limited for a single person as a single person you cannot uh, collect the funds as me as much as ma- as possible so if that single person with a mutual agreement with the another person starts the business then there all there are more chances to acquire the fin- funds and obviously there will be a greater extent possibility of getting expanding the business so taking that into consideration partnership is indeed a business form which will have the tendency to grow high in the industrial era so now coming back to advantages of partnership we'll see one by one what are the advantages of partnership okay so the first advantage of partnership is more capital different skills and abilities are possible since partnership type of uh, business is being carried out by two or more persons there will be plenty of chance for collecting the more funds thereby more capital for the uh, business and different uh, people are engaged in the business therefore different skills are there and abilities are possible different skills and abilities are, abilities are for possible because here in partnership type of ownership there are two or more persons in invo- are involving directly in the business activity obviously there will be more different skills and different abilities are possible and also there is a chance to get the more capital to in- towards the investment of the business that is the first advantage and if you go for further advantages direct control and closure supervision by the partner over the business is possible so here in partnership type of ownership one partner on be- on behalf of other partners he can have the direct control over the business can have the direct control over the business and also he should have the close supervision by the partner over the business is possible so this is also uh, considered as a one of the advantage of partnership and the further the advantages are risk of business is shared by 
more than one person so this is one more important advantage of partnership so in in the partnership type of ownerships if the business collapses or losses will incur the same will be shared by the one or more persons so more than one person the losses will be shared by the more than one person whereas in sole proprietorship the entire losses will be borne by a single person who is carrying out the business entity so that is the basic difference between the sole proprietorship and partnership so this is the advantage of uh, partnership okay and uh, further we have uh, other advantages business secrecy can be maintained to some extent so here only two persons are you can say uh, if it is a banking type of business there are uh, 10 persons maximum hmm? so ab uh, uh, what i mean to say is in this type of uh, business partners partnership type of business hardly there are maximum 10 persons are involved in the business activity therefore the business secrecy is maintained to some extent that is also treated as one advantage of partnership type of business okay should come to the other advantages workers can be divided with respect to their skills under each partner so every partner will have the workers suppose there are five partners who are investing in the business and there are 50 tech workers are there in the business then obviously under each partner there will be a 10 uh, workers here what i mean to say is workers can be divided with respect to the their skills the skills under each partner so depending upon their skills so if a technician is very efficient in uh, casting then he will be posted in the casting section only and so like that depending upon the skills of the workers they are being uh, divided under each partner okay this is one of the advantages of the partnership and if you go for further advantages if the understanding am- uh, among the partners is good the business will run very effectively so here what i am s- saying is the harmony or peace or understanding or you can say communication is good among the workers automatically what will happen so the business will run effectively that is the one advantage of the partnership if you go for the further advantages expansion and growth of business is easy so here expansion of 
business and growth of the business is easy why why because in partnership type of ownership there are 10 to 20 persons involved in the business entity these 10 partners will uh, collect the funds will raise the funds to a greater extent so that a uh, growth of the business and expansion of the business will be easy whereas in uh, sole proprietorship there is only single man in that case he can collect or raise the funds to to a limited extent whereas here 10 persons are there 10 persons 10 partners obviously collect more amounts of funds towards the investment of the business therefore it implies that expansion and growth of the business is easy in partnership type of ownership that is the one advantage of the partnership and another advantage of partnership is it enjoys more freedom and is not subjected to strict government supervision so because there is there are limited people who are carrying carrying out the business activity so obviously uh, this type of ownership enjoys more freedom and also it is not subjected to strict government supervision so there is no strict government regulations is there therefore more freedom is there for this type of partnership business this is also one of the advantages of the partnership business so there are these are all eight advantages of partnership type of ownerships that you have to remember carefully which may appear in the end examination in part c uh, under five marks question so again uh, uh, we have studied advantages of partnership then obviously there will be Uh, obviously there will be disadvantages also there for this type of partnership oh, okay if you look at the disadvantages uh, see one by one we will deal the disadvantages okay since the capital investment by the partners is limited it is suitable for medium scale industries only no possibility of any expansion here only maximum 2 to 10 persons are there and the capital investment of the partners is also limited that is why this type of uh, partnership business is limited to medium enterprises only the medium scale industries so only. okay that is the first disadvantage of the partnership and if you go for the further disadvantages we have due to lack of cooperation among partners due to lack of cooperation 
among partners the firm may get dissolved at any time because he, here around 10 people are giving their ideas for the expansion of business or for getting the profits of the business 10 partners will give 10 ideas 10 opinions thereby leading to miscommunication among the partners so in that case what will happen lack of cooperation among the partners the firm may get dissolved at any time that means the business will may get the business may get a collapse at any time this is the one of the disadvantages to remember and further death of any partner affect the continuity of the firm and so it automatically dissolves because we are Uh, two persons are carrying out the business among the two persons if one person dies due to some health problems or some other reasons then there are more chances for the um, business to get dissolved okay this is also one of the disadvantages of the partnership And coming back to other disadvantages each partner blames other partner for the failure of the firm suppose the uh, two persons started a business and uh, up to two years the business is running into profits after that uh, one person takes the lead role and uh, is is focusing more on the business by with his own ideas uh, therefore what will happen uh, there will be a chance of uh, therefore what will happen there will be a chance of uh, getting the business into losses okay so in that case each each partner blames the other partner for this for this type type of failure of the business this is also one of the disadvantages to be noted and further secrets cannot be maintained here two or more persons are there in the partnership type of ownership those business secrets cannot be maintained any one person any one any one partner may re- reveal the business secrets to the other persons who are not involved in the partnership business so there are chances to reveal the business secrets by any partner to his friends relatives uh, family members so thereby leading to no business secrecy in this type of partnership and coming back to other disadvantages then centralized administration is not possible as every partner is responsible for the functioning of the business so here 
centralized administration is not possible because the every partner is responsible for the functioning of the business suppose 10 partners are there only one person takes the lead role and carries out the entire business activities that means centralization of the administration so that is not possible because all the other remaining nine partners are also responsible for the functioning of the business whereas in the sole proprietorship because there is only one person to carry out the business obviously centralization of administration is possible in sole proprietorship whereas the same may not be possible in in case of partnership type of ownership so this is also considered as a one of the disadvantages of the partnership then further we have the existence of partners is not constant because as any dissatisfied partner can withdraw his share and sold to the new partner suppose uh, five people as started the business uh, partnership type of business over a period of two years one partner is dissatisfied is not satisfied with the decisions taken by f- remaining four persons obviously he will withdraw his share from the business and he will sell that share to the new partner that means uh, existence of partner is not possible at all times this is also now the disadvantage of the and uh, further we have uh, taking decisions will be delayed taking decisions will be delayed so in this type of business because uh, obviously more than two persons are involved in the functioning of the business in order to take a decision whether to buy a equipment or not whether to purchase a raw material or not whether to recruit a new technicians or not these decisions will be getting delayed as 5 to 10 members are involved all the 5 to 10 members have the have to give their consent for the decision to be taken in this way the decision taking will be delayed in the partnership type of ownership so this is how this is how all the this how this is how, this is how all this uh, eight disadvantages of partnership type of ownership are there you have to remember uh, you have to by heart or you can say you have to memorize all these types of eight disadvantages along with the eight advantages of the partnership okay so next we will switch over to partnership deed partnership deed see in depth we will go for the what is the partnership deed and what are the terms involved in it and how the partnership deed will be executed so all these uh, uh, f- 
will be uh, studied thoroughly in partnership deed okay so let us see one by one the success of partnership depends upon the mutual understanding between the partners okay the partnership type of ownership the success of partnership obviously depends upon the mutual understanding of the partners okay in order to avoid the possibilities of disputes at later stage that means five partners have started the business in 2020 after uh, five years that means uh, after 2025 there will be a chance to get uh, different opinions uh, disputes conflicts among the partners so in order to avoid the possibilities of disputes at a later stage that means in 2025 with the business is started in 2020 it is desirable to make an agreement at the time of formation of partnership so this type of disputes will uh, arise uh, after 4 to 5 years of business so keeping this in mind while starting the business itself while starting the partnership type of business itself they will uh, what will do they will uh, make an it is desirable to make an, an arrangement at the time of formation of partnership okay this written agreement is known as partnership deed so all this uh, partners they will come to one conclusion and uh, they will make an agreement in writing on a stamp paper okay so that will not leave the business even after 5 years even though there are disputes after 5 years among the partners like that some terms and conditions are mentioned in the uh, written agreement that written agreement uh, hmm that will be written in the paper that is known as partnership deed partnership deed okay it is defined as partnership deed is a document containing all the matters according to which according to which mutual rights duties and liabilities of partners in the conduct and management of the affairs of the firm are determined so partnership deed is a document partnership deed is a document the document what it says the document containing all matters according to according to which 
mutual rights the rights of all the partners and duties of all the partners liabilities of all the partners in the conduct and management of affairs of the firm so the conduct and management of the affairs of the firm are determined so the, these will be determined in the uh, document okay this will be determined in the document so that is the partnership deed also it is a basically a document partnership deed is a document due to any reason if one partner withdraws his partnership a fresh deed is written with the new partner so that facility is also there in the partnership deed suppose one partner um, passes away due to some reason then they have to write a fresh partnership deed with the new part partner containing all the terms and conditions so that is about the overall description regarding partnership deed and let us see what will be there in partnership deed so which details the partnership deed should contain okay that will be study okay so the partnership deed should have the following details first one is name of the firm second one is nature of business third one is date of starting partnership fourth one is duration of partnership fifth one is the money contributed by each partner uh, sixth one is the amount which can be withdrawn by each partner seventh one is share of profits and losses eighth one is allotment of managerial functions among the partners ninth one is salary if any allowed to managing partners tenth partnership is rate of interest on capital invested if any maintenance of accounts and other clerical work maintenance of accounts and other clerical work and also the document should contain the loans and advances and interest on loans and advances by the partners if any finally it also should contain the document should also contain partnership deed should also contain the basis for the introduction of any new partner suppose if you are introducing a new partner in place of the existing partner what is the basis for the introduction of the new partner so like this partnership deed partnership deed is a document that should contain that should that should have the following details around for in details like name of the firm nature of the 
business that means type of business date of starting the partnership on which date your partnership business is going to be started duration of partnership how, how many years they will run the business the money contributed by the each partner how much amount of money they will contribute towards the business by each partner uh, the amount which can be withdrawn by each partner that means uh, after a period of time what is the amount a partner can withdraw which amount and then share of profits or losses if the firm gets profits what is the share of the partners or losses allotment of managerial functions among the partners so which partner has to look after which area which management function that should be allocated that should be clearly mentioned in the partnership deed document then salary if any allowed to managing partners if there are any managing partners uh, if they have been paid any salary that also is being clearly written in the document called partnership deed and rate of interest on capital invested if any so we ca- collect we accrued the capital through various re- sources so on that capital for which rate of interest we have taken that capital that also should be mentioned in that document called partnership deed then maintenance of accounts and other clerical work so accounts should be maintained very carefully and other clerical works also should be uh, written in that particular document known as partnership deed then loans and advances and inter- interest on them by partners if any that means if any partner has been has taken loan or advance uh, from the from this business um, and uh, interest on the on this loans and advances that should also be very clearly written in the partnership type of business finally the basis for introduction of any new partner so uh, suppose the five partners have started the business one person one person has withdrawn his share uh, if any new person is interested here to contribute to the business so if, if the if they want to take the new person into the business what is the basis for taking the new person into the business that should also be clearly written in the document called partnership deed so this is all about the partnership deed and the details in partnership deed so with this i conclude the today's class thank you so